Have you ever wanted to create a marketing campaign that follows up with your leads forever? Well, good news. In this training, we will be able to show you how to create an infinite follow-up loop in workflows to follow up with your leads. Now, just imagine the possibilities. Creating true set it and forget it type of campaigns for you or your clients. And you can set this up easily in GHL workflows. So hang tight, we're going to walk you through the whole thing from start to finish. Make sure you stay to the end and I'll share with you how to access all of my pre-built snapshots, funnels, campaigns, and so much more. Wait a second, you don't know what a snapshot is? Well, make sure you check out some of my other videos in this series to learn more about all of the things you're able to do with this amazing platform. Okay, so get ready and pay attention. You'll walk away from this training knowing exactly how to do this from start to finish, and I plan to break it down super easily for you, even if this is your first time opening up the software. Okay, so check out this quick message before we get started. By the way, if you still haven't joined our free Facebook group, make sure you go on over to Facebook and check that out. In there, we're going to interview six and seven figure agency owners. Uh, we're going to have exclusive trainings each and every week. And then also you get one on one interaction with myself, JC Height, and the entire digital agency hacker team. Looking forward to seeing you over there. Okay, so in this training, we're gonna show you how to create an infinite follow-up loop uh, to follow up with your leads forever. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and log into your GHL account that you will be creating this infinite loop in. All right, now you wanna go ahead and go to workflows and then click on create workflow. And we will be creating this one from scratch. Uh, so go ahead and click create from scratch in the menu. Next thing you want to determine is what will trigger your loop sequence. Now, whether that's gonna be the addition of a tag, a pipeline stage movement, uh, or main, maybe a manually added contact to a campaign or workflow, or possibly a form or survey being submitted. Now, it is important you have this part of your workflow determined before you start building. It's gonna save a lot of time. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure you watch my other video on workflow components to get you the full scoop on those options. Okay, so you're gonna wanna determine what types of alerts are going to be involved in the workflow loop and in your messaging. You may want to take into consideration that this is going to be an ongoing process, so really think about the context of your messages. You wouldn't like for your leads or your clients' leads to start thinking that they're being spammed, right? So just use best practices here and a little bit of common sense, right? Which will be a wait step. Also, make sure you add a long wait step at the end of your workflows. This will help you add steps in the future. Your contacts don't leave the workflow automation. I personally have gotten in the habit of using 999 days uh, just as like a default. Next thing you wanna do is create another workflow and this will contain just two steps, a wait step and an add to another workflow step. Now, similar to the previous step, you can add a long wait at the beginning to keep your contacts in the workflow while you add more steps to the automation. This will avoid your contacts getting started on a sequence if it's not finished. All right, so your final step will be to add to the first workflow you created. This is what actually created the loop effect in your sequence. Please note for this workflow, you don't need to add a wait step at the end. This would complete the first part of your workflow loop when you want to follow up with your contacts. Please note, this second part is for when they do not respond. Okay, so for this next part in the sequence, we will look into the workflow loop if your contact has answered back to your first workflow. Here, you will be using your conditions and positive and negative intent for the responses of your contact. Now, you wanna make sure you map everything correctly and place positive and negative intent responses since the response from your contacts could go either way. And sometimes we even create a default reply 
that is kind of a catch-all, okay? We'll go over that in another video. Okay, so similar to the previous step, add your tasks and alerts according to the responses of your contact. Oh yeah, just a pro tip, remember to add your long wait step at the end of your positive intent response alerts in case you would like to add more tasks in the future. Once you have finished all the steps and your messages are to your liking, make sure to test the workflow before going live. This is going to allow you to see how it works in the eyes of your contact to ensure it flows smoothly and there's no gaps. Lastly, if you encounter any problems, make sure to fix them before going live. So for this, you can click on the history tab at the top to see if you can find what caused the issue or where you got stuck. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this just as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you got any value out of this video or you just wanna show some love and support for our team and this channel, go ahead and smash the like button and leave a comment here on the video letting me know what you would like to see next. Oh yeah, be sure to check out the links in the description below to get access to all of our resources that I mentioned earlier, also our community, and to be able to check out some of our awesome programs as well. If you have anything you would wanna see us do next, don't hesitate to ask below. If you're still diving in your journey with GHL, make sure to check out some of the other videos in this series and take a look at the other ones in this channel. That should help you along your way. All right, well, that's all for today's video, and I'll see you on the next one.